What if the most powerful AI company on Earth is quietly hiding research that proves its own technology could hurt the global economy? Not because the data is wrong, but because the truth might scare investors, governments, and the public. Today, we're pulling back the curtain on a growing controversy inside OpenAI that's sending shockwaves through the AI research world and raising serious questions about transparency, incentives, and power. OpenAI may be suppressing its own research to protect a trillion-dollar future. For years, OpenAI presented itself as the ethical backbone of artificial intelligence, publishing research that openly warned about job displacement, economic disruption, and long-term risks. But according to multiple sources, that culture has changed. Wired reports that OpenAI has become increasingly guarded about publishing internal research that paints AI in an unflattering or economically dangerous light. The tension reportedly became so severe that at least two members of OpenAI's economic research team resigned in frustration. One of them was economist Tom Cunningham, who left behind a blunt internal message accusing the team of drifting away from real research and turning into what he described as a propaganda arm for the company. Shortly after Cunningham's departure, OpenAI's chief strategy officer Jason Kwan sent an internal memo that revealed a deeper shift in philosophy. He argued that OpenAI should focus less on publishing research about hard subjects and more on building solutions. While he didn't say the company should avoid difficult topics entirely, he emphasized that OpenAI is no longer just a research institution. It is now a major actor shaping the world and therefore expected to take responsibility for outcomes. Critics argue that this mindset blurs the line between objective research and corporate self-interest. This matters because OpenAI today is not the OpenAI of 2016. The organization has transitioned from a non-profit with open source ideals into a for-profit public benefit corporation with closed models and massive commercial ambitions. Reports suggest the company may be preparing for a public offering value near $1 trillion, potentially one of the largest IPOs in history. That level of financial gravity changes incentives in ways that are impossible to ignore. OpenAI is now embedded in an enormous financial web. On one side, it has secured commitments that could reach up to $100 billion from AI chip and infrastructure partners. On the other, it has entered agreements that could see it pay Microsoft as much as $250 billion for Azure cloud services over time. With sums like that on the line, releasing research that undermines public confidence in AI's economic benefits becomes a serious business risk. According to Wired, OpenAI's economic research is currently overseen by Aaron Chatterjee, who led a report released in September highlighting how ChatGPT is used globally and how it boosts productivity. The report framed this usage as evidence of economic value creation. However, an economist who previously worked with OpenAI told Wired that the company has increasingly focused on publishing work that highlights its benefits while avoiding findings that could raise alarm about job loss, inequality, or long-term economic instability. Cunningham is far from the only employee to leave over ethical concerns. William Saunders, a former member of OpenAI's now disbanded super alignment team, said he resigned after concluding that the company was prioritizing rapid product releases over safety research. That team was supposed to tackle the hardest problem in AI, aligning future systems with human values, yet it was ultimately shut down. Former safety researcher Steven Adler has also been outspoken since leaving, repeatedly warning that OpenAI is moving too fast and taking risks with real users. He has pointed to cases where ChatGPT appeared to contribute to mental health crises and delusional behavior, raising concerns about how powerful AI systems are being deployed at scale without sufficient safeguards. Even Miles Brundage, OpenAI's former head of policy research, stated after his departure that it became increasingly difficult to publish research on topics he believed were important. When multiple senior researchers independently voiced the same concern, that uncomfortable research is being deprioritized, it suggests a systemic shift rather than isolated dissatisfaction. What we are witnessing is a broader transformation. OpenAI has moved from being a watchdog warning the world about AI risks to being one of the most influential economic forces driving AI adoption. In that transition, transparency becomes harder, incentives become distorted, and research risks turning into narrative management. This is not just an OpenAI issue, 
It is a structural problem that emerges whenever frontier technology collides with massive financial stakes. The real danger is not that AI will reshape the economy that is already happening. The danger is that society may lose access to honest, independent research about those changes at the exact moment it needs it most. If the institutions building AI are no longer willing to publish inconvenient truths, policymakers, workers, and the public are left navigating the future blind. That's why stories like this matter. Artificial intelligence is the most powerful technological force of our era, and the values of the companies controlling it will shape everything from jobs to governance to human behavior itself. This conversation is only beginning, and the stakes are far bigger than any single company or product.